Let's Drink Apple Cider, To Rent a Girlfriend, Volume 29. And the interesting thing about this video is that I'm not actually going to read every line of Volume 29. Uh, because I just, I'm not going to do that. That's too much. But if something's interesting, or like I react pretty weird, because, you know, I literally haven't read Rent a Girlfriend in forever, all right? And I wanted to get some people, you know, to watch the channel a little bit. I'm going to be expanding into other manga. I have been reading your comments. Um, some people have not been as interested in seeing Rent a Girlfriend content, especially since it hasn't been super great lately. For those of you who love it, hey man, I'm here for you. For those of you who aren't, you know, the biggest fan, uh, I just want to let you know that I am going to be expanding into other content. As you can see, I have a new setup, so I'm going to be actually making a lot more content because it's just a lot easier. I don't have to worry about the DSLR as much. I'm just going to do my webcam. I got some lights. So I just wanted to make sure it looked good. And I felt like my previous content has been less than satisfactory. <laughs> it's just, uh, I looked a little rough. And it's because I never wanted to like set up lights behind my computer. Uh, I was too lazy to do that. So I finally got past that. I made it happen. So we're pretty much just going to read the entire volume 29 and I'll just upload the highlights all right uh, and you know I'll read out any chats that I want to talk to like this guy said yo so I'm gonna say yo I'm gonna keep that in the video you know what I'm saying <laughs> and we're, we're gonna do volume 29 so we're gonna see what happened over all these months I'm gonna give you my opinion I, I don't know any actual spoilers but, you know, we'll see. I don't even know where we were at before. I, I don't know. I, you know, I'm just going to go in, in pretty much blind. All I know is that chapter 164 was, like, the best. All right? So, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. Now, if you're wondering why I'm wearing headphones, it's because when I read manga, I usually wear headphones. And I'm listening to music. So, you're going to see that. And if I want to read it, I'll, like, stop. And I'll, like, read it out loud. But, uh, without further ado, um, here we go. Chapter 247, The Girlfriend and the Childhood Home, Part 3, Miyajima Reiji. From time to time, she stops to reflect on the past. And each time she does, the preciousness of now shines through. I practice my voice in the first chapter because it's been so long since I've read out loud. <clears throat> oh, that's my mom. I don't remember anything about her, though, since she died when I was four. And since it seems she didn't like having her picture taken, that's the only one left. This is Mizuhara's mom. No wonder she's so beautiful. And she's Sayori-san's daughter, too, so I guess it's no surprise. All right, now, let's continue. It'll be dark soon. R right. But Mizuhara really does seem rather indifferent about it. I guess it makes sense, since she was four at the time. Phew! We've packed up quite a bit. Feeling accomplished. I took everything out, cleared up the room, and let's just give up on the idea of collecting rocks when I get older. Wow, how neat! Thanks! Mwah! <laughs> nah, no way that's gonna happen. Let's go and report to Mizuhara for now, and be praised. This is... Grandma Sayori's room. Mizuhara, I'm done he Bruh, dude, what? Okay, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna see Mizuhara sitting there, looking somber by herself, and 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 then you're gonna go, hmm, this is Grandma Sayuri's room, and you're you're gonna you're gonna literally say that to yourself, and then you're gonna be, oh, what's up, I'm done, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> bruh. What is wrong with you? 
You know this. Why are you look surprised that she doesn't respond? Oh my god, dude. Bro. I'm serious about you. I want to support you my whole life, no matter the cost. You don't know anything about her. She's barely let you into her life. You don't know her life. Y'all don't do... Okay. <laughs> Am I not the right person? Bro. There's a moment to do that. And this is, I don't think it's the, you, you can, you can set that up. Like I, I've done this very thing before. Like there's a time where you can hold on to somebody, even if you're not necessarily dating, but like, you gotta like, make sure you've made eye contact first and they trust you and the context makes sense. Like you have to talk to them first. You have to prime it. You have to be like, oh, it'll be all right. And then look at them and they make eye contact. And if they don't if they are still looking at you the same way and they like give you that little body language hint like it's okay then sure but like she's looking down at her paper like she's probably not expecting that so i'll see how this goes now there's an earthquake wow <laughs> Oh, how, how does that happen? How does that happen? <laughs> it's not what it looks like. Wait. Oh, no. Wait, what's going to happen? I think I actually read this chapter, but it's okay. She wants to extend their close encounter. Wait, as they tumble from an earthquake. An earthquake? <laughs> An earthquake, guys? An earthquake? <laughs> what? <laughs> he accidentally ends up on top of her as he tries to move away. What are her intentions? Oh, boy. <laughs> Wait, what is happening? What? As I lost my balance and fell on top, I thought she'd shove me away. Yeah. She's accepting me? Me? You've got a leaf stuck up here. Bruh. <sighs> Wasn't that pretty lame for an excuse? Bro, Mizu to just say something. Are we... Alright, I hope in 30 chapters we get something or else I'm writing. Did he say that out? Well, what to you would the perfect marriage be like? I cannot believe he just said that out loud. Like out like out loud, like out of his mouth. Like he just said that out loud. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh man. And it yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You should have thought about that. <sighs> right? <laughs> uh, well, are you like four? Like a super lovey-dovey all the way to the grave, you know? Like never having a single fight or disagreement. Kazia, are you four? That's my question. Genuinely, like are you four years old? I just, I just, I just need to know. Like, are you in college or are you four? Just, it's, it's questionable. It's, it's, it's pretty questionable. <laughs> Axe says no, he is just stupid. I agree with this wholeheartedly. <laughs> oh, this art though. Uh... Ragey, why are you so good at art? I'll make that my ideal too? But... That's too obvious, dude. Look at her face. She's like... What? <laughs> I'm like... Uh, what the hell is that? Are you crazy? Yes, are you crazy? 
Yeah, just laugh at him. I remember this day. My whole life. Izuhara's history. I could feel it etched into her home. While I was there, I felt like I could almost see how she lived her life up to that point. I want to get close to her. I want to be by her side. I want to live together with her. It was enough to make me think all these things. And then... Something happened. I do remember reading this. But... I don't know what happened. As they come home from Izuhata's place, there's caution at the tape. Now what? I have no idea. I guess we're going to find out. Getting back to their apartments after cleaning up the house, they find something off? This is, this is pretty off. I think off is a little bit of an understatement, though, now, don't you? Even if they end up having to move, their hearts will merely renew their lease on love. The love that I see in every single chapter. Mutually, they be mutually beneficial love. I see it. Mizuhara is open and expressive with her feelings. Kazuya is open and expressive with his feelings. Their lease on love will be renewed because it's obvious that they're in love with each other. It's very clear. The Girlfriend and the Move, part one. Ooh, I wonder what's happening this chapter. Oh, I thought she said, you can take out the funeral on a later day. <laughs> When she said furniture. <laughs> hey, what's up, Jaden? Welcome, welcome. Kissy, kissy. <clears throat> Actually, <clears throat> fish voices. <clears throat> kissy, kissy. Kissy, kissy. Who? What? She doesn't feel lonely or anything. She looks pretty nonchalant. I mean, she's been living by herself, Kazuya. Don't, don't forget. Don't forget. Izuhara has never lived with you. And you have never lived with Mizuhara. So why would she get lonely now all of a sudden? She stays in the same bed by herself every night. I know you want to be in that bed with her, but you're not. That's just the facts. To be honest, if we're truly in love with each other, I'd like to tell her that I want to live with her. Slow down, buddy. Y'all ain't even boyfriend, girlfriend. Oh my gosh, he remind Kazi reminds me of me so much, and not in a good way. <laughs> Why are you assuming I have an infinite pool of courage to draw from? Asking too much of me yet again? It doesn't take an infinite pool of courage to ask your girlfriend to live with you. Just, just FYI, you, you remember you are lying to your grandma. Of course, I end it right here. How did I know it's gonna end it right here, bro? There's no way she's not feeling lonely right now. I don't know why she wouldn't feel lonely, but anyway. Meanwhile, Yayamori is concerned about Kazuya? Forced to return to his parents after being evicted, Kazuya finds that he is an outsider in his own home. Oi! Kazuya! Kazuya! Uh, how long are you going to sleep? People from the shopping district are going to be here today at 10! Elevator, elevator, I can't let you fall? Huh? But my heart, my heart, you may fall time and time again. Is it just me or does that make any sense? Wait, what does that have to do with your heart falling? What? <laughs> okay. Oh no, don't remind me of that chapter. Was that 218? Y'all, correct me if I'm wrong. Was that chapter 218? Where all that BS happened? Damn, she made herself a feast. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> nom, nom. Sip, sip, sip. And then... Oh, that's, go that's gorgeous. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, man. Of course. She reaches out and suggests a bold move. But, 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 but how? Yaimori san? Well then. She calls him out and presents a bold suggestion. Is she going with the flow? Or perhaps? <laughs> oh, and no, I don't have one. A plan, that is.
Oh, man. There's seven differences in total. Solution next issue. Hmm. Don't care. I feel like this was supposed to be funny, but, um... <clears throat> it does not make me laugh, so... What are you saying? Are you saying she'll let someone she doesn't like or trust into her childhood home? She's making too much sense. Hearing that just now, that worries me even more. Investigation is such a vague word. If there is so much development on the emotional side of things, she even invited you into her... I don't want to doubt Mizuhara-san's intentions, but most people would say that kind of girl is devious. I do believe in Mizuhara-san, too. I was just saying it's how most people would see it. I'll stand behind you, too, regardless. Yeah, I think my voice for Yaimori is better than the other voices. <laughs> Chapter 52. The Girlfriend and... Oh, 252. The Girlfriend and the Move, Part 4. A super motion... A super motion? A super motion? A super... A super... A super motion? A, a pro, yeah, I have no idea what that is. Looking into it negatively all the time. Certainly. I haven't seen her lose herself when drunk. In fact, I'm the one who always does. <laughs> It was 170 something hold on i think that's wrong i think it was 172 ha ha wrong he says in 252 uh certainly i haven't seen her lose herself when drunk in fact i'm the one who always does and he says in his head, this is not drinking responsibly in chapter 172. I know this because I spent a lot of time with this chapter. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She's basically making him tell Mizuhana what they were talking about, which is that Kazuya should move in with Mizuhana. Ooh. Ooh. If there's something you want to say to me, why don't you go ahead and say it? I don't remember having set any such boundaries, and it feels like you're being overly considerate. Gosh, she doesn't even understand how I feel. She's way too laid back. You went and said it. There's no way it makes her sad. Isn't this just me admitting it makes me sad instead? Mizuhara. She's such a rare species. No way it makes her sad. Just because she won't be able to see me anymore. Drink some more. It does. Huh? It really does! Yai Morty's face is what I'm most curious about this panel. <laughs> Guys. She said it. She said it. She went ahead and said it. This is it. Kasia, this is your two test. So? something she said something oh oh man oh man that's crazy um dang dang let's go let's go let's go as kazia lobs a desperate question she hits back with her true feelings let's see how far this goes before it falls flat on its face <laughs> chapter 253 the girlfriend in the move part five when love's on the line, you need a friend in your corner. Glass in hand, let's have another toast tonight. Oh, I love her so much. Okay. Men and women, they're fundamentally different. Oh, come on, get to bro, stop. Oh, I wonder. I think this is a great opportunity for the both of you to get to know each other better. Don't call everything an opportunity. Oh, you're still at that stage? Okay, how about you kiss him again? There was that thing in Fukushima, too. Maybe there's something you'll realize by doing that. <gasps> I do feel bad about it. Telling him I'll try seeing my feelings for what they are, while knowing how he feels about me. I get I'm making a big deal out of things. 
Well, he did say a lot of stuff. For two hours before you showed up. He went on and on. To make a long story short, all he was saying was that he really loves you. I went too far earlier. I'm sorry about that. To be blunt, it all depends on how you feel. Master's prepared to wait, be it three years or three million, even if he's left, even if he's left a zombie. But speaking for myself, I'm just glad the way you see things has changed. Hmm? From, I don't know, to, sad we won't see each other. Hmm. I'll get a cab. Hmm. This isn't pacing yourself. You bonehead. <laughs> okay, how about you kiss him again? Maybe there's something you'll realize by doing that. That. Wow. Quietly and surely, her body moved, following those feelings that were about to burst. Now, this chapter is good. Like, finally. That does not make this manga good. That does not make this manga good. All I'm saying is that chapter 253 is good. It's very good. Yaimori makes the entire thing. When Yaimori is here, the this story is really good. Hey, the other guys of you, Axe, what do you think about this chapter? The others, if you're here, still here, Toast. Anyone else is here, let me know what you think about this chapter. This is, I, I feel like it's a good chapter. Like, it has good art. It has, like, some development. It's funny. It, it has the fish in it. It's, it's good. It's really, really good. Aw, Max, you're crying. While a wasted Kazuya lay before her eyes, a singular feeling swelled within her. Chapter 254, The Girlfriend and the Move, Part 6. Right! Axe says it's a good chapter because finally there was some progress. And Toast says, it finally feels like a rom-com. Like, we're getting somewhere. Come on, boys. Let's do something. <laughs> we're doing something. Oh, man, that was a really good chapter. I could reread that one over and over. That was, that was good. That was really, really good. Oh, oh, is 254 going to be good, too? I love you. Huh? Mizuhara. I love you so much. Oh man. Oh oh wait a minute. Oh man. Huh? Hey. What what? Jeez, get a hold of yourself. It'll be here any second. Hmm? What were you doing? Uh, uh well I was just propping him up. He was about to fall. <laughs> Aren't you an angel? You're so nice. Oh, here it is, over here. Chizuda-san, you good? Yeah, no problem. One, and a two, and... Ugh, he's heavy. Was he always this heavy? Jeez, master. Pull, pull some of your own weight. I feel like I'm the one who didn't pace herself. Your destination is Yakota, is that right? Yeah! Huh? Where in Ikoda? To your place. Master also seems to be at his limit. So this is in his best interest as well. No way. That's out of the question. The hell is this? I don't remember crap. Haven't I totally messed up again? I remember that I was drinking with Mizuhara, but what happened after that? Ding dong. Yes? Oh, Kazuya-kun. Long time no see. So Sayori san, what brings you here? Oh, I was visiting Shizuru, and there's something I need to tell you. Something you need to tell me? I don't want you to see Shizuru anymore. <laughs> Why is it like a sonic symbol or something for his mouth? What? The? Why is that? All of a sudden, it appears she's completed her investigation. 
seems she has no feelings for you at all. Well, you can't be. But, Chizuru-san, I need to talk this out with her. About that. She said she doesn't want to see your face anymore. She asked me to let you know in her stead. Oh, I'm sorry, Kazuya-kun. Don't worry. I'll see it sends you a year-end gift. This can't be. This, this can't be. This can't be happening. Huh? Uh, huh? A, a pillow, a, a blanket was, was all just a dream. What the hell happened? I was drinking with Mizuhara, but I don't really remember anything after that. Dude, you literally just did this panel. This place! I've seen it before. Oh, you're finally awake. Rise and shine already. The dawn has come. Say, good Mizuhara, to another fine day. The winds blow back. To paradise? Is this a dream? Huh? You gonna get up or what? Next time. Fist. Guys, that was almost a good chapter. The first, like, you had me in the first half. Not even first half, it was the first quarter. It was like getting good and then it just stopped. It's like Reiji Miyajima can't write a lot of good stuff. <laughs> like he just forgot how to do it. Dude, we almost got two good chapters in a row. Like, it was so close. Well, I was like, oh, okay. And then, eh. <laughs> The perfect depiction of a failure of a man. I'm not going to comment. Moving on. I, I don't know who keeps reading this from week. Imagine reading this from week to week, y'all. Imagine, guys. Just imagine reading this every week. Angel Sumi. It's never gonna happen a second time, not in my lifetime. To have a girl like Mizuhara investigate her feelings for me. This exact thing happened to me with another girl I liked. Uh, but, like, so I've been here. But you know, what I learned from this is not to get too deep and personal, but, you know, a girl like Mizuhara, if what he means by a girl like her is someone who is that beautiful, um, you know, it's better to be with somebody who's compatible with you than somebody who is, like, super beautiful, but you don't get along, you don't communicate, it's just not healthy for whatever reason. And that realization is a hard one, especially if you really want someone who is super beautiful. However, it's more important to find somebody compatible with you than who is beautiful beyond your imagination. And that's, you know, it's good stuff. It's good, it's good, you know, but it's, it's a difficult transition. Uh, I'll definitely say that. Kazuya is a main character with side character energy. Damn. Rag fans be like, guys, we are getting a new chapter. Maybe, just maybe, some progress after reading. Why am I doing this to myself? But Axe corrects Toast and says, actually, Kazi is a main character with a background character energy. <laughs> hey, so, can you talk in that state of yours? Th th this is it, the end. She's here to declare the result of her investigation. That's Mizuhara for you. She's prompt and as direct as ever. But here, like this... I heard from Minichan that your room will be available in a, only in a month and that you can't stay at your parents' because of this. Gah, how much does she know? How pathetic of me. Is it gonna end here? Our story together? Is this all gonna pop like a bubble? I can't ask her. I don't want to. I'll just head back now before I get rejected. I I'm fine. When I searched a capsule hotel for 3,000 a night came up, and I'm sure Kibe and Kiri will let me stay for two or three nights. And we have the compensation money, too. It's just a month I can manage somehow. So, so, so please, d d don't worry me too hard. Ouch. 
You should sleep a bit more. But I can't have you taking care of me for two days straight. Just one month. Huh? I'll lend you just this single room, the kitchen, toilets, or other places with running water aside. We'll be living in separate spaces. <laughs> Laundry will be separate too. And you'll have to clean it regularly too. Yayamori-san will be living with us as well. She's there. Huh? I've been found out? There'll be a bunch of problems if it's just the two of us. I guess you'd call it home sharing? It's normal, isn't it? M Mizuhara, does that mean... Just wait a second, I'm telling you, I can't... Huh? I'm sorry. I found this. I found this while we were in the taxi on the way back. Whoa, my bank account details! Caught you broken 4K. <laughs> I pity the fool. <laughs> Homeboy just carries his bank account details in his pocket. <sighs> okay, let me finish this. It's partly my fault. And if you can't hold on to the compensation for ordinary living expenses, it's a waste, isn't it? <laughs> if you don't want to, I'm not going to force you. <laughs> she said you broke. <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh man oh man I don't even need to read the rest that's good <laughs> oh man oh man oh man <sighs> can you hit me she does <laughs> okay this is the best chapter man <laughs> this is the best chapter 253 and 255. That was too good, man. That was too good. Yeah, I'm only just hits him in the face. That. <laughs> this is the dream rental life. <laughs> the curtain rises on us long way to new chapter of their lives. Oh, man. I'm sorry. I was aiming for your jaw, but I slipped. I think you hit his jaw, bro. And that's how I started living together with Mizuhara. Why did you have to uppercut me? I was high on adrenaline. Isn't it usually a straight punch? You're too loud. Okay. I'm ending. Oh, hold up. <clears throat> Let's get it. Let's go. It's time for that track. Bye. 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 Bye.